Hey, good afternoon. Welcome back. This is another video today actually being brought to you by Bucky the Badger. He's the little fella who is trying to win a game right now. But uh, today's topic is top five Google tools for marketers in 2021. Uh, my name is Kashif Mughal. This is actually being provided to you by, Ka by Cash Data Consulting LLC. So let's jump into this. So, you know, you're a small business owner, right? And you have limited time, correct? So with like 1 million digital marketing tools on the web and everybody, everybody nowadays wanting to nickel and dime you thanks to the COVID year, what should you do, right? Small business owners obviously have limited dollars, right? So here you go. Today we're going to discuss the top Google tools for 2021. Um, let's just go through them. This is going to be a quick video. I have listed them in the order we're going to show you. Uh, the first one is Google Page Speed Insights, uh, awesome tool. The next one is the Go Google Mobile Friendly Test tool. Then we're going to talk about Google Trends, Search Console, and then finally the most important tool, which is Google Analytics. Okay, so let's uh, let's jump right into this. As you know, speed kills, right? But it is also vital to have a fast website. Guess what? If you you know, your site is not loading in, let's say, what is it, one, two, three seconds in the US, you know, you're hurting yourself. And this is also a ranking factor for uh, Google. So our number one Google tool for marketers is uh, what's known as Page Speed Insights, PSI, which is different than pounds per square inch. This will actually help you uh, report performance on your tool. You can test both the mobile and desktop versions. It provides suggestions on how to improve it. The um, Here's the score sheet. Uh, anything close to 90 is considered good. And then I'm just going to jump right into this. In fact, there's the link right there. Um, I already have this up and running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let me just uh, go to our, our website, which is uh, Cash Data Consulting LLC's website. I'm going to take the URL and you can certainly do this too. You can go ahead and put this in there, right? So this is the same URL and then you go ahead and hit an analyze. While this is doing this, I'm actually going to show you one of our clients website, which is um, estate planning attorney out in California, Tar Law Group. So when we ran um, essentially his tool, you know, the ranking was not good and working with the web developer and uh, doing some optimization, we were able to get it up to a decent score. So if I go back to my website, unfortunately, the mobile is not the fastest in the world. But if I go to my desktop, look at that. So this is 90. Uh, it gives you some suggestions in here. I'm not going to go through this because like I said, it's uh, this is a very quick video, but you can, uh, you know, it, it makes suggestions what you can and can't do. And certainly if I go back to the mobile version, it also gives me some suggestions, okay? So that's our first tool that I wanna cover for uh, marketers and small businesses. The second tool for um, marketing is going to be a simple Google mobile friendly test, right? So guess what? More than 50% of all web traffic now is done on things like this or uh, mobile phones and whatnot, right? If you are a business owner and your website or blog or whatever is not mobile friendly, guess what? You are literally shooting yourself in the foot. Well, that's not my foot, sorry. The other one, right? Uh, how can you check if your site is mobile friendly and responsive? Well, you're in luck and it's a lucky day for you. Again, I'm gonna show you the website for this is search.google.com slash test slash mobile friendly. So if I go back to Chrome, uh, like I said, um, you know, we already ran some of this, but let me try this. Um, let me go back to our technology website and then I'm going to simply put, put your URL in there. You can definitely put code in there too. And same thing, I'm just going to go ahead and run through this. It's going to, it's going to do its, uh, testing uh, and I believe I'm just making sure I don't have it actually and it's going to it's going to um, essentially you know give the analysis and then not only that but this will also give you suggestions especially if you are there are situations where some of our clients website are you know either mobile and some of the websites uh, some of some part of the website is not mobile maybe they had an older website 
or maybe they change from HTML to uh, WordPress. So here you go. So our, our website is mobile friendly, right? Again, it's going to give you additional source uh, resources and whatnot. Uh, I'm not going to go through this, but uh, this is actually tying into Search Console, which we will talk about that in a minute, actually in a few minutes. So the, the third tool, Numero Tres, if I can say that right, is Google Trends Cache. What? Another keyword tool? I'm afraid yes. It's actually slightly different. So what I like about Google Trends that some of the other keyword tools do not give you is that this can actually show you the interest in a topic or keyword or search term over time. Okay, so that's important. And then the other thing I like about this tool also is that this is going to give you the interest in different parts of the world. I mean, we are in good old USA. I'm sitting in Plano, which is north of Dallas. But what if you have a company, global company, and maybe you're selling stuff in um, Asia or Africa, whatever. So this is going to also help you with that interest. OK, the numbers are going to be is one to hundred. So it's a sort of like a relative term, right? A value of 100 means that the term has peak popularity, right? And a value of 50 means that it's about half as popular. So I believe I already have the Christmas gift in there. Holiday season's coming up. Please send me gifts. I would love that. The website for this is trends.google.com, but uh, I suck at typing, as you all know from my prior videos. So let me go in here. Let me see where it is. It's over here somewhere, right? So here you go. This is a, I ran this already, Christmas gift, okay? Um, past 30 days. I'm actually going to click on where it says, and look at this. I mean, you can go back in time, right? Back to the future, baby. Um, if you look at the uh, interest over time, it looks pretty steady. If I scroll down here, you can clearly see that it's changing over time, right? It also shows you the location. So apparently in Utah and West Virginia, everybody is ready for a Christmas gift. So maybe I need to move there and leave Texas alone. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to compare Christmas gift to Valentine's Day, Valentine's gift. Why are we doing that? Maybe you have a company that specializes in this area, right? And you're trying to figure out, uh, should we write about Christmas or should we write about Valentine or whatever, Mother's Day. Mother's Day is probably going to be the highest one, okay? But look at what this awesome tool does, right? It actually will show you the trends over time, right? You can export this data. There's all kinds of cool things you can do. Uh, clearly, you can tell that, you know, you should be writing about Christmas, right? Uh, but uh, not bad. I mean, I think the, the Valentine gift is also trending higher. And one more thing I would like to show you here is some, there are some related queries, right? So Christmas gift ideas, right? Um, and then even further down, um, you can also get some other ideas for your second term. And by the way, you can add more terms, right? So I can add uh, Mother's Day and whatnot. So this is our definitely our third important tool. Number four, Quattro, um, is Search Console. Well, you may be asking what the fudge is Search Console. I know, right? This is one of those tools that a lot of uh, people just don't know about it. I actually teach uh, digital marketing at a local college and you know, most of my students have no idea. A lot of the clients and prospects I talk to every week, they have no idea either. I would say this is definitely one of my favorite SEO tools and I'll tell you why. Because GSE, Google Search Console, this will help you measure your website traffic. Do you want to know if your traffic is going up or if it's coming down? Definitely, right? It's going to tell you what are your top search terms and if you're ranking or not, okay? Um, you can also find issues with your website, especially if there's issues with the favorite Google, not boss, box, sorry, bot, uh, the, the web crawler from Google, right? So, uh, and we have run into issues where um, something got changed on our client's website about six months ago and the, the, you know, the search bot was having problems. So we had to fix that, right? So this one, again, um, the website for this is search.google.com slash search. This also used to be called um, Webmaster Tools, right? But if I come back over here, I'm already, I believe, logged into this. Let me see what we can do here. Um, this is another one of our clients. Right, you do have to register your website. All these tools that I'm showing you, they are free, which is good. Free, free. You know, you don't have to spend any money, but you do have to register your website. They need to verify who you are. But here's our web. Uh, one of our clients, they do a pediatric dentistry. 
I have pulled this map for, uh, for the last 16 months, okay? You can see that they are showing up a lot more in searches. The clicks are also going up over time, which is great. Coming down here, it actually shows you, you know, what are, what are the top queries? Kids uh, Pediatric Dentistry, Dr. Lisi, that's her name. Uh, other searches that are coming up, right? So here's, a, here's an idea. Um, emergency pediatric dentist near me. We should definitely write a blog post about that. Apparently people are searching for that, right? I didn't even know that. Or down here, you can see that uh, chipped baby tooth. That's another one, right? The other thing I like about this tool, especially if you have a new business, new website, you can submit what's called a sitemap. So this is uh, another website that we are working on. And the sitemap was you know, sent to Google. There's almost 400 pages on this website. What does that mean? It helps Google find you know find information on on the new website a sitemap is sort of like a blueprint of the website okay and we're going to cover that in a different video so keep that in mind finally i saved the best for last yes thank you cash uh number five top google tool for marketers is going to be google analytics um a lot of people already know about this tool but um you know I am shocked though that you know half my business clients actually didn't have Google Analytics up and running. I mean, why? I mean, why not? I guess is really the you know the question I would ask them. And they just either don't know about it or they set it up and they change something and it got broken. You know, you have to really stay on top of these things, right? So with Google Analytics, what can you do? You can review your website traffic, right? What are the users doing? What page are they looking at, right? What are your top blogs? Then you can also find business intelligence info, right? So this is things that are working for you. You know, you may have goals set up in there. You may be tracking conversion. What is working? What is not working, right? If you are, um, if, if you're selling widgets and widget A sells a lot more and then widget B is going down, you'd want to know that, right? The other thing you can do with Google Analytics is also integration with things like Google Ads, uh, Google Search Console, so a little bit of uh, dyslexia going on here. Uh, Google Tag Manager, right? These are these are extremely important things. And then, what's the last point? Learn and go back to the drawing board and repeat. Okay, this one is an easy URL to remember: uh, Google.com/analytics. So if I go here, um, I have a couple of uh, examples in here for you too. So here's, here's one of our clients. Actually, I wanted to pull something on a different client. So I do apologize. Let me go and find, um, we, we work with a client out in Austin, Texas that um, they do uh, OBGYN type stuff. So let me pull this information. And what you can do is um, analytics provides seven days by default. I'm going to make sure that I'm looking at the last 30 days, right? You can go in there, you can see what the users are doing, right? Audience, you can look at the acquisition basically. And one of the reports I like here is source medium, right? This is going to tell you how is traffic coming from, right? So look at this, out of the 8,000 users they had last month, 7,000 are coming from Google Organic. Thank you, Cash. I love when this stuff works. And then also look at behavior, right? Behavior is going to be uh, you know, your top pages. These are the top pages, some of the blog posts that they have done. Okay, very important information to know. And then what do we have here? I think this is this is actually a cool graph from one of the uh, older websites that we operate. Um, this is over time back in 2010, 11. I mean, look at that. We have had a million, one million page views, right? And we were also running Google AdSense. Of course, the traffic has dropped over time. In fact, we need to, we switched it to HTTPS, so that's why you don't see traffic, but we do have traffic and we're working on that website as well. So I think that was a quick video I just wanted to put together. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel and we will see you soon. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this useful. Please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you could like that video, that would be great. Uh, for additional information, you are welcome to connect with us through all of these avenues. We have our website, so that's datatechnologyllc.com. Um, I can uh, show you this right here. So this is, uh, this is our company. We're based in Dallas, Texas. Uh, you are also welcome to visit our social media pages. So we're on facebook.com slash 
Dallas SEO by Cash, um, and also on Twitter, which is the same one. So let me uh, show you that. Uh, here we try to definitely post um, on a regular basis, and uh, there's lots of uh, ideas and whatnot re related to digital marketing. Um, and same thing here on uh, Twitter. So it's uh, twitter.com slash Dallas SEO by cash. Um, definitely engage with us, get, you know, jump into the conversation and uh, that would be great. And finally, uh, there's two more things. Um, we, we are on LinkedIn. So this is our URL for that. And um, definitely on YouTube. So it's uh, youtube.com slash buckle. And so let me just show you that uh, so LinkedIn is right here, by the way. Um, and then uh, YouTube, we have uh, we have more than um, 200 videos. So definitely, uh, I would think you would find the um, channel quite useful. Um, other than that, uh, once again, um, I appreciate uh, watching the video and you have a good day.